Oh, definitely miss all that, for sure. Been a long time. I flew back in 2003, mainly. Miss it, though. Come by this way every once in a while. Came by at a good time. They're out training today. Oh, what's up? Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Damn. Awesome. I read somebody's comment. It was pretty funny. They said, golf is the closest thing to marriage you'll find because of all the rules. Welcome back to Bibles and Bullies and apparently a touch of golf. I'm Jeremy. I'll be your uh, designated terrible player today. I'll show you what I can. I came out to Kilgore's Plantation uh, Golf Course. Hole 14, 333 yards. This was my second shot. Right up by the pin. I actually have a really good shot at birdie right now. Oh, I'm doing this one one-handed too. Watch this. One-handed, backward putter, left hand. Birdie. Oh, Bibles and birdies. And I'm going to be changing the name of the channel from Bibles and Bullies to, uh, you know, Bibles, bullies, and birdies, but realistically, it should be like Bibles, bullies, and bogeys. Yeah. Oh, yo, da, yo, dog. Oh, Groot de yo, dog. You remember him? Yo, dog. <laughs> Crack myself up whether you think I'm funny or not. You'd think I, you, you would think I was funny if you just saw that tee shot, though. It was horrible. Let me go try to find it. Slice right, again. Maybe I should stop talking crap and actually go practice. All right, all right, all right. I went right again, huh? You know, they say two wrongs don't make a right. Well, two rights definitely is wrong. <laughs> Good grief, man. Wide open club face every single freaking time. Not too bad, about six foot. I'm not gonna one-hand this one, I need to put this. Should've one-handed it, two put the damn thing anyway. Told you, I'm a bogey golfer. I need somebody to come out and play. It's way more fun with more than one person. You get a break in between shots. You get to talk shit to each other. See, I'm just out here talking shit about myself. Where y'all at? <laughs> Told you it's for crazy people. Really nice place so far. Very reasonable for price. Uh, it was like 31, 32 dollars for 18 with a cart or 28, something like that, it was not bad. So I teed off on one, I wanna make sure I can get off the box. Had a good first swing. Uh, it looks like I've got about 165, 170 yards to the pin and the wind is going to the right. So let me hit, I don't have anybody here to help me film. So I'll just kind of show my shots along the way. And if I'm able to find a spot to set up my camera, I'll, I'll do it here and there. But I'm not that good guys, I'm just out having fun. I'm checking out different golf courses. I'm a disabled retired vet and I got really tired of sitting at home all day. So I'm doing something. Hit like and subscribe, have fun, enjoy. I uh, popped my five iron, went right. Had the same problem yesterday. So I've got to close my club face. I'm gonna go over to the car path, but I'll show. Well, let me get off this director mode. That's enough. All right, so it's right up there. I towed it a little bit, kind of probably chip up over the sand. But let me drive around the car path and try to stay away. The greens are nice, I don't want to mess with them, so let me drive in. Uh, not the greatest, but not, not terrible. I'm going to use a 56, hopefully pop it up over, and onto the green. It's a short run to the pin, so I'm going to try to flop it on there and stop it, hopefully. We'll see what happens here. Well, damn, I really wish I had somebody filming today. That's probably my best hole I've ever had. Not for real, like, but that was a good shot for me. I'm happy with that. Flopped it over nice, laid down, sat, bit. Let me try to put this in for par, hopefully. I made the putt, made my par. It's pretty much about straight in, seven foot shot, so it wasn't too bad. Moving on to hole two, um, this is probably the best start I've had all year, so for me, I'm happy. I'm on hole two. I'm playing white, so I've got 378 to par four. Got my ball set up. Um, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying to work on taking out slices, so I've been watching some videos. There's a lot of helpful videos out there. I'm going to line use the club to line up my shot and my feet. So hopefully, like I did that on, I, I used the technique, I didn't use the club on the last hole, but it did very well. All right, so I sliced the crap on my first one. Uh, I did hit a provisional second, just in case I can't find the, the first one. But I want to find the first one. It's way over to the right. Uh, let me go see what I can do. Oh, and you do need to stay provisional, or I'm hitting this ball in case I can't find my other one. I'm, uh, I've been going over some rules. I just like, you know, knowing about stuff. I'm weird that way. My last name is Bayless. So if you look up the definition of Bayless, it was like a bailiff in, in the past. So like, there's my second ball. But a bailiff, you know, would be like keeper of the law, right? Well, I, yeah, I like to know the rules. That way I know how I'm playing, what I'm playing. If I'm, you know, I'm not trying to cheat. So I'm trying to play right. And I've been learning more about it. And I'm going to actually read the rules because I know they're ridiculous. I read somebody's comment. It was pretty funny. They said, golf is the closest thing to marriage you'll find because all the rules. 
man, let me go look through here for a second. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh yeah, I did not find it, and that's why I hit a second ball. Um, so what the rule said though is like, if you just hit another ball, right? If you don't say something like this is a provisional second shot, or you know, I'm, I'm hitting this in case I can't find the first one. If you don't do that, then automatically your second ball is counted as your shot. So if you don't state that, weird stuff, man. Like for real, weird stuff. No joking, just like marriage. <laughs> I'm like 200 out from the pin. I'm gonna try my five, five wood today and see if I can get it up there. I stand a better shot. Well, I might hit my three iron. I'm gonna hit a three iron. It's a safer shot for me with the three iron. Yeah, uh, had a good shot, but I laid it up. I'm up there just before the bunker. So hitting three from here, up here. All right, so yeah, not bad. Got about 20 yards to the pin. Um, honestly, this course is in really good shape, especially for the price. So Kilgore Plantation Golf Course. Check them out. Or Kilgore Roundabout Plantation Golf Course, just east, east of Dothan, Alabama. Very nice little course so far. I'm impressed, especially for the price. I uh, had a nice flop. I think I stuck it pretty close. Couldn't see it from where I was at. Yeah, not bad. Hang on. Let me go put this. Not too bad. Got about 20. Yeah, about 20, 22 foot to the pin. Nice and quiet today, very open course so far. Uh, looks like pretty straight in, maybe a little break to the... Man, that's tough. I'm gonna hit it pretty straight though. Let's see what happens. I drove at it, I went right over the cup. Got a little meat to it, so I need to make this for bogey. Uh, it was a straight shot though, I just I was driving for it and I ran right over the side of the cup. All right, bogeyed it out. I'm moving on to three. All right, hole three is a 403 yard par four from the white tee. Pretty much straight down, yellow pin way down there. I hit it right where I was aiming. I was pretty much the wrong way. <laughs> Been hitting right all day, so I corrected a couple things and aimed too far left, and there I am. That's why you don't do that. So I've got uh, about 195 yards to the pin from here. I think I can get in there and hit my three iron and give it a shot. I was able to get a nice punch out of there. Did pretty well for the line I had. Uh, setting up, light up, gotta hit three from here. Try to flap that on and hopefully one putt be done. Let's see how it goes. I did not flap it on. I hit it short, I putted it up on, and then putted it in for bogey. So moving on to hole number four. Hole number four is 485 from the white tee to dogwood, or dogwood left. So I'm gonna set up and I'm probably gonna hit my three iron just for, to try to get a good spot, hopefully down there on the fairway. Cause I've been hitting my driver, I gotta get a little more consistent. So yeah, I don't wanna slice it way over the right on this one. Prefer not to. Still hit it a little right, but not terrible. I kinda chunked it, but it should be okay. Up over there on the right, kinda in the rougher, rougher patches. It felt heavy, like I didn't, I didn't hit it good. Still better than probably the one I would've got on my driver on this one. Sometimes I know my limitations. A lot of time I push them, cause I just wanna try. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Right there on the fringe. Still no distance at all. I'm still, shit, 275 out. About to hit a five wood. Yeah, I still got 160, 155 yards. I said par four, it's par five, thank goodness. Cause yeah, I'm about to hit a, I'm a six iron. Try to put it on the green. No, sir. Right again. One of these days, I'll play these. Until then, I'm just practicing. Ah, welcome to golf. I'm just, I don't know, like, I've been trying, I think I'm, I'm definitely overthinking. I'm trying to fix stuff. Instead of being at a practice range, fixing it, I'm trying to fix it on the course. And that's really not the best way to do it. So on some stuff, I just need to go with what's comfortable because I know what I can do. So I'm about to hit a 56 and get it on the damn green this time. And then I want to one putt. I want to chip it in from here. That'd be sweet. But one putt after that for par. Let's try it. I'll hit my 56 up. Not too bad. Still a putt, though. And I have to do it on that one. All right. <clears throat> Looks pretty straight, maybe a slight break right. Not a good putt. Do the old five dutch sports one-handed. I'm Jeremy though, and this isn't does. Jeremy, Jeremy does Bibles and bullies. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't do that for him. All righty. Hole five is uh, 131 from the white. I did bogey. Um, I, I re-putted normal, I'm not two-handed, and I bogeyed the last one. Uh, this is a par three. And if you guys didn't know, with this number down here, this handicap, this means it's the 11th hardest hole on the course. So the first hardest hole is gonna be number nine. See, that's how that works. Learn that this morning. You're welcome. Uh, that was a terrible shot. I towed the crap out of it. So I don't practice before I come out here. I'm not making excuses, but I don't. I just come out and start hitting. I really should go hit a few balls at the practice range first because I come out sore and, you know, whatever. I played yesterday too, 18. I'm gonna play 18 today. So I'm kind of sore, but I don't, I don't care. I'm just having fun. Power through, huh? Wait, okay, shot number two. Oh, too much flap, not enough run, huh? <laughs> Par three, and I'm not even on the green button. I'm gonna putt from here. So you judge me if you want to. I really don't care. And I can tell you right now, it breaks left. So let me see if I can get close. I won't make it. No, screw it. I won't make this one. Oh, well, well, not that much, right? Good grief, man. I was more worried about getting the camera than hitting the ball in. For real, guys, I'm out here having fun. I'm enjoying the course. I'm practicing. It's just me. Like, there's no one around me, so. Not a bad place. I need to make that for bogey and move on. Yeah. Guess this is my uh, first double bogey of the day. Not bad, though. Usually I'm double bogey way sooner. Bam, one handed. That's right. Do the tap ends either way. Hole number six. Hole number six. We got uh, 363 from the white tees. I should have wore a white tee today. I'm wearing a black shirt. Oh, yo, dog. Yo, dog. Oh, Drew Dio Dog. You remember him? Yo, Dog. <laughs> Crack myself up whether you think I'm funny or not. You'd think I, you'd, you would think I was funny if you just saw that tee shot, though. It was horrible. I'm gonna try to find it. Slice right, again. Maybe I should stop talking crap and actually go practice. And practice with the chunk. Oh, yeah. I lost it. I dropped. I got about uh, 180 to the pin. Let me see. I don't even see it. It looks like it's down around the corner. Not a very good lie. All right, all right, all right. I went right again, huh? You know, they say two wrongs don't make a right. Well, two rights, definitely wrong. <laughs> Good grief, man. I open club face every single freaking time. See it up there, down on the edge. I can play. Man, it's really starting to piss me off. I'm just 
my mechanics are off right now. So again, not making excuses. I am a disabled vet. I've had two lower spinal fusions, two left shoulder surgeries, one right shoulder surgery, left elbow, left wrist, and right knee surgery. Oh, and right thumb. So there you go, okay? Uh, again, not making excuses. The other day, even after all that, I hit one 320 yards. I'll bet that in. Oh, I thought I messed up on that one. I flopped it up. There's a sandbox, but I'm on the green. Can't see it, but I know it rolled up. Oh, come on, where you at, dude? Oh, where you at, ball? I swore it. Okay. Long putt. Wanna go putt? I have a good putt for you. Almost made it. It broke left and right. I pretty much hit it. That power was great. Dang. Okay. Oh, what did I score there? I had to drop. I gotta figure out I'm scoring that one. I held a double bogey with the drop because I lost my first one out of bounds, so damn it. I'm only going to film like the shots for the first nine, and I'll kind of show you guys the course on the back nine, but I really want to focus more on my plane for the rest, and I might show you, you know, good shots or something, but if you haven't already, I hope you enjoy the weird stuff I do on my channel. It's more like a video blog type thing. hope you enjoy what I do show. Not those ugly ass scores. Those are terrible, but you know, not everyone can get out and enjoy a golf course, so I'm very thankful and blessed that I am. I'm not rubbing it in your face. I wish you guys were out here with me. It'd be way more fun. Coming up on hole number seven, 233 yards from the white paint. I like that tree. That's cool. Might be dead, but it's still character. Yeah, not too bad. No flame. All right, let me hit this out. Well, I hit my seven iron because I've been hitting my eight iron like crap. So I backed my swing speed down, swung nice with my seven, and I laid up short. Like I thought it was good, but I might be able to putt that. It's still a good bit on the fairway. Yeah, there's still. I'll bring both my clubs up there and see what it looks like when I get up there. Damn it, though. Yeah, I mean, not terrible, but I wanted to be up there. I thought I hit it good. I just didn't give it enough. I had plenty more, but I was trying to play a safer shot. So I'm gonna putt that. Get it close, hopefully. Not too bad. About six foot. I'm not gonna one hand this one. I need to putt this. Should have one handed it, two put the damn thing anyway. Told you, I'm a bogey golfer. I need somebody to come out and play. It's way more fun with more than one person. You get a break in between shots. You get to talk shit to each other. See, I'm just out here talking shit about myself. Where y'all at? <laughs> Told you it's for crazy people. All right, hole number nine. This is supposed to be the hardest hole of the course. Uh, I'm guessing because of the. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I'm on hole number eight. My fault. This is a par five, 504 yards. I was gonna say it doesn't look that bad. It's pretty wide open. So let me go tee up, hit a shot, see where we end up. Much better tee shot. Not right up the middle, but pretty much. That was pretty much up the middle until it bounced and then it kicked right a little. But it should be good. We're right up here, find the ball. Yeah, so this was a 504 yard hole. The blue marker is 200, so that wasn't bad. That was about 280 on my drive. I'll take that. I think uh, PGA Tour average is 290. There's also some dudes crushing it like 380, 400, so I'm not. See, every now and then I can play golf. I just ripped my five wood off the fairway. I don't know if I made it on the green. I'd be happy as crap if I did. I don't think so, but it was a good shot. I think it laid up on the fairway just short. Yeah, I see that. I still got about 25, 30 yards to go. I'll try to flop that up there with a 56 or pitching wedge, and hopefully I can't get it in. Put it in simple. Let's get this. Let's get this close. I need a close one time. So I hit two because I decided to try my pitching wedge. I hadn't hit my pitching wedge all day. And where's that? Yeah, not very good. So I pull my 56 back out. I'm drink. I'm hitting the 56, by the way. And I'm not going to count the shot because <laughs> no PGA here. If anything, it's more like VGA, like Veterans Golf Ass Association. I hit my four shot right, tapped in for par. Last hole, hole number nine. And then I'm just going to show you guys the course, you know, as I'm driving. And pretty much wrap up the, the shot plan because I want to just focus on shots. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw so far. It's nothing fancy. Maybe one day I'll have a friend to go play with me. And uh, we can have a little more fun. What's up? Bob does golf. Bob, Bob does sports and, and old cold cuts. What's up? You want a you Yankee in the South that lives in Alabama to come out to California and show you guys how terrible we play? <laughs> you can't handle it. Oh, co cut. All right, number nine, we've got 392 yards. It's supposed to be the hardest hole of the course as far as handicap goes. So, uh, pretty pretty open though. I'm gonna hit a driver on this one. Try to keep it on the fairway. And uh, yeah, I've been talking crap, guys, but go check out. I actually really like their channel. They're pretty funny dudes. I've watched a lot of their golf and they've actually helped me with a lot of stuff. And I mean, those guys made it look fun again. You know I mean? Dude, we gotta have fun. If you guys aren't having fun some days, you are not living life whatsoever. Like, you got to enjoy things here and there. Uh, I'm retired, I'm disabled vet, so. I'm enjoying things after 41 years of busting my ass and breaking my body. And now I'm out here trying to play golf and there's 60 and 70 year olds that play better than I do. So I'm just out here having a good time. I really have enjoyed the course so far. It's been very nice, very clean. And for the price of like, uh, it was $28 during the week, 38, I think on the weekend, great price. And that's with cart. So there's no discounts military or otherwise, but you know, hey, still very fair. I have definitely got the right side of the course covered. So uh, I need a golf partner that has a slice or hits in the center. So yeah, no, I mean, some days I'm all over the place for real. It's, I have to compensate for pain in a lot of the ways that I swing. And some, some swings are just terrible. So this one dog legged left. So I actually have a better shot from where I'm at here than being way up far right. So I'm gonna hit it up over those hills, probably with my three wood or uh well, I think I'm gonna try my five wood from here if I got a good line when I get up there, otherwise my three iron. I'm happy with that. Came off clean, even though I was on a slope, right where I was aiming. Not sure on distance. I don't really care about distances too much. Because like I said, I'm usually compensating for so much stuff and pain. Half of my shots have to be like trick shots because I don't I don't hardly ever hit it on the fairway. I think I got up over this hill though. It seemed like a good shot. Yeah, there's a good shot from that. Hopefully, ah, I gotta go over sand. That's all right. Let me get it on and try to stay away from this bunker. For real, I'd rather not be in the bunker. Let's see what happens. I came off right again. 
Burrito is getting irritating. First time I really like come off to the right on the 56 today, so I'm dropping shoulder, I believe is the problem. I gotta fix that issue though. I'm, I'm sore today. So, like I said, on the next nine, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I score overall. I'll show you at the end. If there's any cool holes, I'll show you along the way or good shots. But I'm about done filming so I can just play and try to hit this little ball in the hole. And I ended on a double bogey. That's it, flooded. And I lost my card. So I gotta go back up and find my scorecard. Old VGA. Oh, Wilson, I found you. <laughs> That's why the hell back to the tee. All right, let me write down my terrible score and get off this front nine. Uh, I was 10 over on the front nine. Not very good. Couple, couple two pars. And I could have, I should have bogeyed the last hole. Actually, I should have parted, but I just had a couple of bad shots. So moving on to hole number nine. Uh, going to slow down on the shots and just kind of show you guys the holes as I drive them. And that's going to be about it. You see 46 on the front. Hopefully I can do better. Hole number 10 is pretty. I've uh, got 297 yards from the white tee. And it's a dogwood, or dog leg right, rather. And I'm going to be changing the name of the channel from Bibles and Bullies to, uh, you know, Bibles, Bullies, and Birdies. But realistically, it should be like Bibles, Bullies, and Bogies. Yeah, that's probably better. I slightly clipped the branch, and I believe I found a bunker. So the first bunker of the day, that sucks, because it was actually a good drive. It's right where I wanted to be. I didn't realize there were sand traps in there, and I saw it fall down in the right one. So I'm going to see what I got. I got to get out of there and close to the flag. Or else I'm really stuck. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that's not good at all. Shit. I'm going to have to open my club face and try to fly that up. Let me see what I can do. I got it out of there. Thankfully, that was not very fun. Didn't get far, but I got out of the sand. So. All right, guys. That's about it for what I'm going to show. I'll hope you had a good day. I'm going to have fun in this 95-degree weather. It's about what we are right now, I think 90. So, a little warm, having fun. Warmed up, hopefully I can do better than 46 on the back nine. I'll... Yeah, no more filming for me. Uh, my phone's not far from dying. I'm on hole number, uh, going on to 13. Oh, King 13, huh? So far, two over on the back nine. Uh, I would have made birdie on this one, but I hit it into the uh, into the bushes from the tee box, couldn't find it, dropped, hit three up, and one putted in for par. So, I wish I would have kept that on play, but still recovered well, kept par. Let me see if I can gain a stroke or two on the remaining six. Oh yeah, by the way, the temperature is 91 degrees and the real feel is 101. So, and my dumbass is wearing a black shirt. Hole 14, 333 yards. This was my second shot. Right up by the pin. I actually have a really good shot at birdie right now. Oh, I'm doing this one one-handed too. Watch this. One-handed, backward putter, left hand. Birdie. Oh, Bibles and birdies. Oh, par 18. Made it to the end. Doing pretty good. I'm one, two, three, two, three, four, five over right now on 18. So a much better back nine. Uh, beautiful course. I really, I, I really did enjoy it here. This is my first time ever being here. I will definitely come back, especially for the price. I mean, everything was great. It was real quiet today, so I just enjoyed myself. Had a good time. Nobody was, you know, right behind me or in front of me. So I just got to leisurely play. Uh, this one looks like 411 from the white tees. So let me go see how I can finish up my round. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Kilgore. Uh, what, what is it? Kilgore's Roundabout Plantation Course is what it's called. Just east of Dothan. I didn't see where it landed, but it was a pretty good strike, and it looked like it went right down the fairway, so hopefully good ending to my 18th hole here. My shoulder and my hand are pretty sore. Like, I've chunked a few shots that kind of, I mean, it hurts, I'm sore. Yeah, I'm up there by the 150, just in front of it. So that was 411 yards. Give or take 140, so it's like about 260, roughly. Yeah, about 260. Not too bad. Pretty straight-in shot. Let me hopefully get this up on the green. Did not get it on the green. I hit it a little right, kicked off this hill. I think it's lean, okay? Yeah, it's not too bad. A little chip up, try to get that in. If not, one putt for a part. So, that's I'll be hitting three right there, and then putting hopefully to the park. Yeah, pretty cool. How many places do you see a side of that on the golf course? <laughs> oh, and inside, I mean, they didn't have, like, a big selection for, you know, stuff. Uh, I'm almost out of balls, so I'm not going to go hit Academy Sports or Dick's or somewhere. Their balls are pretty expensive here. Most of them are, like, $50, so I'm not that good. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go. A little chip up. Hopefully get close, and then one putt in. Not too bad. I'm not going to one-handed putt this. I'd like to make that for par. That'd be a good way to finish out my back nine. I think it'd be five over, so way better than the front. Let me see how he does. How can how he can do? Hard out. Done for today. Kind of tired. I think next time I'm gonna walk it. I need to get out, get some good walking exercise. Carry my bags. I used to do that. Um, I was in the army from 1999 until 2008. I was stationed in Hawaii from 99 to 02. So I used to play a lot of golf over there. Beautiful courses over there. Like absolutely amazing. Not that these are bad, but when you play spots like that, my phone's about dying. Uh, I ended up shooting at 87 for today. Uh, that's my best score this year for me. So I just told my buddy Mike I'll be happy when I can consistently shoot under 90. So there's first one. Next time I gotta do the same. And then after that, you know, obviously just set, set goals, guys. You know, you can't get better unless you have realistic goals. Um, I mean, golf is a, you know, it's a challenging sport, but it's on you. Like, you score your own stuff. So if you want to cheat, you can cheat. You know, so I don't count every single thing. But today, I, I did well today. Overall, not too bad. I lost probably half the balls I normal, normally do. And even with my drops and so on, I was able to recover pretty well. Doesn't happen often, but that's it. So thanks for sticking around. If you stuck around this long, you guys are awesome. If not, I'll screw you anyway. <laughs>